Hello and welcome to Adobe Sparks 101. In this video, I will introduce you to the course and go over our Google Classroom setup. In this module, there are three lessons that you are asked to complete. Each time you enter Google Classroom, quickly glance over the stream as this is where I'll put any announcements. And next, you can click on the Classwork tab that is located at the top of the page. This will take you to all the information necessary to complete this online learning module. On the left hand side, you will see all the topics used for this course. Please begin the course by filling out the registration form and opening up the syllabus. When you have completed those items, unpause this recording. Thank you for registering. Now we will go over the syllabus for this course. My email address is listed at the top and below is the module description, objective and course requirements along with an estimated time commitment. The time commitment varies because everyone is going to be required to complete lessons one and two, but then you have the choice between lessons A, B, and C, and those vary with the amount of time it will take to complete those lessons. After the syllabus, you have the question cafe. Please feel free to post any questions you have. I'm happy to answer them via email, but the chances are that somebody else taking this course can benefit from your questions very high. So if you wouldn't mind, please try to use the question cafe for any questions you have to be of benefit to the class. Next, we have introductions. Um, this is how we are going to digitally interact with each other. So please take the time and pause the video and go ahead and introduce yourself. After you pause, make sure you comment on a classmate's response. Um, if there's nobody there, just next time you log in, feel free to check the stream and get in the habit of this as this is what you will be asked to do for each one of the three assignments. Great, thank you for the introductions. And now on to our lessons. As you will notice, all of the lessons have the same format. You will watch a video, complete an assignment, and respond and comment to the reflection questions. You will need to complete this process for lessons one and two, and also your choice of lessons A, B, or C. You do not have to complete all of three of those lessons, A, B, and C. You just need to choose one of them. Your final assessment will be in lesson two, which will be a culmination of the work you did in the other lessons combined with a grading rubric and all the tools you will need to launch your first Adobe Sparks project in your classroom. If you will notice, aside from lessons one and two, lessons A, B, and C have a couple different elements to them. You are going to have the Adobe video, and this is an actual copy of the video that you can download and make a copy of in your Google Drive if you need to edit for any reason. Um, if you choose to add these onto your Google Classroom, every time you add these, they will have to load for the students. So I also attached the YouTube link. The YouTube link does not require the students to download the videos if they want to watch them for tutorials, so you feel free to use those links in your classroom. I've also created step-by-step -step instructions. I find this helpful if the videos go too slow for students or students also need a visual accompaniment to the videos themselves. These are step-by-step -step written instructions with visual cues to help guide you through the process of creating a video, flyer, or web page. Once you have the how-to videos, you're going to have your assignment here, along with a rubric on how the assignment will be graded, and a reflection. Please don't forget to do the reflection. It's important for us to have a digital community and reflect on the work that we are doing and help others. After you complete the assignment, you're going to answer both of the questions, and then you're going to respond to another person's posting. Once you have finished either A, B, or C, you're gonna move on to lesson two, which is your final assessment. After you've done lesson two, please take a minute and complete the feedback survey so we can improve how we are doing courses in the future. I've also included some Adobe Sparks examples. These are actual um, examples on how I used Adobe Sparks in my own classroom. So I hope this is helpful and have a wonderful time creating.